The Summer Academy for Advancing Deaf and Hard of Hearing and Computing brings high school and college students together for nine weeks to explore careers in computing. Students take courses in computer programming and animation and learn from deaf and hard of hearing computer professionals. During this video, these role models give their perspectives on careers in computing. Computer science is fun because the adrenaline that you get from solving problems and overcoming challenges are really comparable to the adrenaline you get from skydiving and rock climbing. Just fantastic. It's important that students who are perhaps interested in computer science is that they must love it. You really have to have a strong foundation in math. It's really quite important. If you have a strong foundation in math, then you can study computer science without a problem at all. With computer science, you're pretty much open to opportunities uh, to anything within the computing industry. You have an opportunity to make a difference in people's lives. You have an opportunity to make people's lives more productive. Right now, the computer business is a very hot industry. A lot of the jobs are very well paying. Uh, they can be challenging and very interesting. There are many, many different kinds of jobs going for the broad spectrum. So not only many different positions available, but there are a lot of benefits for people who work in the computer business. So what do you guys think? Do you think that it's, uh, is it taking off right now, or do you think that the market is, is in a downturn? I think maybe a lot of computers will work for themselves. <laughs> oh, so you think it's just kind of stable at this point? Okay. All right, great, great. I think the iPods, the new technology, computer technology, people will be taking advantage of that. I think it's going to become a virtual world. Now, looking forward to, to 2016, there's going to be actually a 50% increase in careers. We're not talking about other countries. We're talking about just what's happening here in the United States. So there will be a lot of job opportunities that will be happening. I love math. I love an analyzing things. I love creating, designing. So it just fits all those things that give me a lot of satisfaction. Now it's interesting that why I am a good match with computer science is that a lot of these skills are able to be transferred to other careers as well. So understanding programming, understanding computers, that's a very useful skill that can apply to research, to the field of medicine. I mean, computers are used in absolutely every single field. Plus, there's also knowing that what you do will be used by many people in the world. So what's required? You have to have a background in science and mathematics. You have to like math. It's very much in a part of computer programming. The logic is critical. Who would need 25 Petaflops, who could use it? What does super mean in supercomputers? The most common measure is speed measured in floating point operations per second. How many would think that the aerodynamics would matter to Pringles? And it turns out that it matters whether they will fly or not. The speed of the assembly line is limited by their aerodynamics. If the assembly line goes too fast, they fly off. Procter & Gamble uses supercomputers to make Pringles. Computer science is a great choice because you know you're not going to end up being bored. You're not going to be limited. You're going to have more and more challenges, more and more excitement, and more and more fun. The fastest machine we have is primarily used for climate modeling. We're not very good at predicting the weather a few days ahead. We want to know what the weather will be like 100 or 200 years from now. Climate modeling is incredibly complicated, which is not to say that we can't do it. I chose computer science because I l really like to solve problems. I like to be challenged and then like to come up with a solution. I can point to every car out in the parking lot and outside and say that my software is inside them. If you become a computer scientist, this is a place where you can actually make a significant contribution. Internships is a great way to start looking for a job. I sent my resume to a number of places and didn't hear any responses back that fall until I got a response back from IBM. 
And they said, well, you had an internship before. We know who you are. And uh, the people remember who you are. And basically, the first thing it said is, why do you want to work for us? It's like, well, I want to work. Do you want to be a developer, they asked me? Do you want to uh, build uh, systems or compile programs? But I hadn't heard about testing, which was one of the other things they had asked me about. And what you do is you're searching for bugs in programs by testing the programs, trying to break them. I thought, you know, that would be an interesting job. You know, and just even in the interview, I'm finding out what it is they might like to do in the way of uh, employment. And they offered me the position. Networking is very important because it can open many doors of opportunity for you. And it can lead to future career options. I thought, you know, I'm ready for an adventure. I'm ready for a new job and a new place to live. And I found that I grew a lot by doing that. You know, people say, oh, college is really the place you really learn about yourself. But, you know, I found that you really learn about yourself once you're out in the real world. Now, there's lots of products that I did testing on. And what I'm supposed to be doing is finding the defects in those uh, products. Um, I'm given the specs, the specifications, and see if the program as written follows those specifications. Clients hate bugs, so that's my job is to test the product before the client gets it with the bugs in it. And personally, I love testing because I love breaking things. You know, it's, it's, it's interesting to see uh, how people will say their software works, but I can figure out a way to work around a good working program to find a way to break it. And you have to be very creative. In fact, I am very creative in figuring out how to make things break so that people can fix them. And the computer field is somewhat like that where one way method doesn't work, you try another way. You try different approaches to the same problem. So that means like every day I get to use my creativity in solving problems. Now I really, one thing I love about my job is that I'm not uh, stuck within like a nine to five or eight to five work day. There's flexibility in it. I can you know, come in at pretty much the time that I choose in the morning. So now I'd like to open up for questions. You mentioned now that wouldn't for your major what are other classes that you recommend for IT and computer majors that are not required? Well, technical writing, certainly. Public speaking. Um, I'm going to decide, I'm going to let you do your own introductions and say your own, tell about your own background if you would. So it says, hello, yes, my name is Asad, A-S-A-D. I grew up in India. I'm working as a software engineer here, doing more web-based uh, work and uh, software work. And that's basically who I am. Before, I wasn't sure what it is I wanted to do, if it was going to be in mathematics, if it was going to be in computer engineering, if it was going to be in computer science. Uh, I know in my heart that I love mathematics and logic. Those are my favorite subjects. And so in looking at the uh, newspaper, trying to see what kind of jobs there are out there, what kind of opportunities there are in the United States for people who have those kinds of interests. And I saw lots of software engineers being advertised for. I was told that Java and C++, a computer science degree, was the best way to go about doing that. And since I love mathematics and I love logic, um, I decided that was the, uh, the way to go to become a, a coder, a code writer. How many, Asad asks, how many of you have actually written programs? How many of you have written programs? HTML count? Does HTML count? Absolutely, HTML counts. Um, HTML is mostly, of course, for uh, web designers. Uh, whereas um, I'm doing, I'm a web developer, so I'm doing more of the back-end programming. So I'm using ASP, PHP, uh, ASP.com, using C Sharp, uh, JSP. Back-end work is what I'm concentrating on, not the front-end with HTML. Well, computer science as a field is, is great because there's no defined rules. It's so wide open. They can try so many different things. 
and sometimes one process or procedure is you know going to be the answer but it's not always going to be the answer so the possibilities are endless you had a good question earlier um, tell me more about CSD VRS what is it where is it and so forth well it's one of several video relay services and the video relay services are basically for a deaf person to talk to a hearing person through a sign language interpreter. So would you think the computer program would be simple and easy to develop? The front end is pretty simple, but the back end is very, very complicated. It takes an awful lot of programming behind the scenes, and we're planning to continue developing. We don't want to just stay with the same old generational approach. We want new approaches. For example, why is it you look at yourself, you see the interpreter and the hearing person. Why not? We want to see all three. I'm waiting for Jason to write that code. Yeah, I'm working on that. Many years ago, back in 1860s, there's deaf men who studied at Yale. And when he graduated, he left a written message in the dorm room. That message was in the Latin language. Perseverantia, omnia vincent, which means perseverance conquers all. I think that's a wonderful message for all deaf students. Don't give up. No matter what attitudes you face or communication barriers you face, you know, I just want to emphasize that when opportunity knocks, open that door and, you know, take those intern opportunities. Even if you're not required by your school, take those internship opportunities. I think computers is one of the best fields to get into because it's very creative when you're taking all the requirements that people have to develop new systems, trying to figure out how do I develop something that's going to meet their requirements and then you get involved in the developing, the coding, the testing, the implementation, and the distributing people are excited when they get a software product that works, and you get that satisfaction of knowing that you did something to help their lives.